All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to properly get your drivers set up for your Odin 2 or any Android device that is on your Windows PC. Now, if you go to your device manager, so just search out device manager on your computer, for example. So go device manager. You'll have a device manager window just like this. Now, you won't be able to see devices that are currently not connected, for example. So if I go to view, go to show hidden devices, I can see a whole bunch of devices that I've had connected in the past. And I have my ADB interface for my um, Red Magic device, my Android composite device, and that's just another ADB interface. This is Samsung devices that I have connected and a whole bunch of others. What you can do with all of these, if you don't think you need them, is you can just go on install and just get rid of everything that you don't think you need if you have a whole bunch of them in here. And even, let me see if I have it still. Um, L, M, N, O, P. Yeah, I don't have that one anymore. L, E, interface devices. Get rid of those as well. Your device should pick up as Android device if by default if you're on Windows 10 and 11. Um, it should just pick it up as that. So um, what we're going to do is I'm basically going to show you what happens when I plug in my Odin 2, for example. So you can see my Odin 2 on the table there. I'm going to plug it in. I'm just using the AYN cord. It doesn't matter what kind of cord you use as long as it's not some cheap dollar store cord. And I'm going to click on file transfer. Now on my computer, my Odin 2 is going to be, have a triangle. And the reason for that is because I have so many different devices that I've connected in the past that I need to update this driver, go to browse for computer, let me pick, and I need to select MTP device. Now, if that doesn't show up, then you have to select the driver manually for MTP device, but this is just basically allowing us to access the files on the device. So if I click next and click close, my file browser <clears throat> will open up on my third window over here and I'll be able to access my device and everything. So click close after that is closed. Now, another thing I have found for you guys, which I should have shared for your Everybody is the USB drivers for Windows, which is off the Google website, but I'll supply that uh, website for you so you can just download these. It's called USB underscore driver R13 Windows. You need to extract it and just leave it just the way it is on your downloads directory, extracted like that. So leave it like that. And what we're gonna do is we can go into our Android composite ADB interface, for example. We're gonna go update driver, browse for computers, let me pick. Now click on have a disk. And then it's going to pop up another window and we're going to go browse and we're going to go to wherever our actual um, downloads directory is. I'm going to go to this PC, OS, users, my name is I'm new, and I'm going to go to my downloads folder inside the USB driver windows folder, USB driver, and then I'm going to grab this in a file right here. Now there is different folders and or files inside of here. Don't worry about those. There's not there's nothing in there for us. So we're gonna grab this Android underscore Win USB. Click open. Click OK. And there's the Android Composite ADB interface again. So if it's not working properly, just select that one. Click next, and then click close. And now that Android Composite ADB interface is gonna pop up. Now what about when we reboot it into bootloader mode? So let's open up Android Platform Tools. Right click, open PowerShell window, and dot forward slash ADB um, reboot bootloader. And hopefully my device will interact. And there it goes. So it's going back into re uh, bootloader mode. Now, if our device manager doesn't pick up bootloader mode properly, which mine should, You'll see Android bootloader interface right here. I'm going to actually uninstall this, attempt to remove drivers, yep. Yeah. Hopefully my computer doesn't tell me to restart it. Okay, so now my bootloader mode's not popping up here and that might be happening for you. If that's happening for you, then we can actually manually install this as well. So I'm gonna unplug this and try to plug it back in to see if it'll pick it up and do other devices 
Oh, Android ADB interface. So if I go fast boot, get var current lot, it's going to show that, but let me see here. I'm going to uninstall this as well. There we go. So let's unplug and plug it back in. And there we go. So other devices. So there's Android right there. Now, if we right click on this and go update driver, browse my computer, let me pick. Now it's gonna give you a whole bunch of devices here, Android device, uh, Android device, Android device, but we can actually uh, pick from our actual disk drive too. So go like this, browse for my computer, let me pick, and we can select ADB interface, Android device. It, it's just a whole bunch of different stuff here. So click next on that one, and it'll show a whole bunch of Samsung devices sometimes, depending on what you had installed before. So cancel that. And if you don't see the device that you're looking for, so let me pick, I'm going to go to Android device, just generic. And now we're looking for Google Inc, which is this one, we should have that already installed. And we're going to look down and look for um, Android bootloader interface, or we can go have disk. We can go to browse and we can select that win USB again if we want to click open click OK and now it'll drop down with all of these options and we want to select Android bootloader interface at this point click next and this device is not recommended don't worry about that click yes and now that is installed correctly and now we should be able to actually interact with our um, our fast boot again so let's go fast boot get var current slot and there it is again but if we didn't have that installed so like if i uninstall all of this attempt to remove the drivers and i try to do fast boot again waiting for device so we're stuck at that right now again and that's because we don't have that driver installed so i'm going to unplug this plug it back in and there's that Android symbol again, and that'll be under other devices. So let's go update driver and browse computer. Let me pick, uh, select Android device. Now you should see Android device here. If you don't check your windows updates as well, So click next. And then we're going to go have disc. We're going to do this all manual again. And a little dialogue window will pop up. It always goes to my other window for whatever reason and go into that folder that's the usb driver folder that you downloaded from the google place or the google's website and go android win usb.inf and click ok and then it'll give you these three option options so make sure you select bootloader interface click next click yes and then we should have you can see our powershell window interacting with our device again which we can actually go bot for slash fast boot reboot and now it'll reboot our device so that is how you manually do it. Make sure you clean out any of your dirty uh, drivers and stuff first, and then you'll be able to actually get that going. Now, again, your device should pick up as an Android device. I don't know why um, the LE, that doesn't matter either, uh, but it, you, just be, you should be able to just use those uh, drivers and install them and then interact with your device just make sure you can interact with your device before you mess around with the rooting process as well otherwise you might break your device or break it so i'm just going to show you me rooting this all from the get-go so what i'm going to do is i'm going to install magisk first here uh it doesn't take me too long to root my device because i unrooted this already it's all back to factory as you can see, I can't go into COD Warzone or anything. So I'm going to grab Magisk. I'm going to go into my Android platform tools, paste it in there. Call of Duty will load up until a certain point, and then it'll kick me out. There it goes. <laughs> so yeah, that's going to kick me out. Now what I'm going to do, I am going to open this right away and... I'm going to go dot forward slash adb install magisk.apk. Now that's going to install on my device. There it is right there. Now I'm going to go adb reboot bootloader. I don't remember what slot I was on. And get prepped, go fast boot, get var current slot. 
which mine was A, okay, which is good to know. Fast boot, reboot. I'm gonna open up QFill. There it is. Flat build, uh, do I have the right one here? Odin 2, Odin 2, yeah, I do. So now I'm gonna reboot into uh, EDL mode, which is emergency downloader mode. Reboot, EDL. And this is another area where you want to select the right ports. Um, so as you can see, I have USB bulk CID, whatever the heck that is. Now select port, it's not popping up here. So we're going to update our driver, browse for a computer, and I'm going to look for anything that has anything to do with that Qualcomm driver. Could also try to do it automatically. And yeah, it doesn't find it. So if it doesn't find it, I go update, browse, browse again, and Android device. Let's see if it'll pick it up over here. Nope. So what we're going to do is we're going to manually install it because I already have that ready for you guys. So Android rooting, Odin 2 root files and q5 files uh no it's qpst driver and qualcomm driver right there so if you don't see that driver click yes and now it's installing it preparing to remove whatever next oh there's a window over here it's telling me to click next click i accept click next again click install okay now we can check to see if it's actually picking it up which it is right there qualcomm hs loader now we're going to be back in q file now this might bug out, I'm not sure if it will or not, but uh, Partition Manager, click OK. And it's not bugging out, which is good. Now I'm gonna go down and get my init boot A image, and I'm gonna go Manage Partition, Read Data. I'm gonna go into my File Manager. I'm gonna check my COM port. I think my COM port was seven, it is. And there is my init boot image right there. Now I'm gonna delete this other one and I'm gonna rename this one. This is the one that I just made. So init boot a uh, retro 278, okay. So now I'm gonna copy that to my desktop somewhere. I'm gonna put it in my Android root folder right here. I'm gonna get rid of this patched image and then we're going to close out of this. So go close, close, click okay. Now I'm gonna show you a different way to root this quick. It's very easy to do it this way rather than um, doing it the other way if you want to as well. So I'm gonna show you this method as well. Okay, here we go. File transfer. So we do need to file transfer because we are gonna be copying this over to our Odin. And as you can see, my Odin's not popping up again. And that's because I've installed different drivers on my computer. My computer is just weird. So um, I'm gonna go let me pick MTP USB device. And now it'll pop up. Now I can go into my documents and I'm going to get rid of this one and I'm going to paste this new one right here. Technically these work the same. It doesn't matter, but I'm just going to let you know how it works this way. Select and patch. I'm going to go look for that file in my documents in a boot retro go. Let's go. And now that's done. I like to unplug my device after I do this and plug it back in just to make sure that my device is reading properly. File transfer, go into my internal storage, go to my downloads, that's where the patched image is. And I think this is it right here. Yeah, it's the only one. So copy, go to desktop, Android rooting, and I'm gonna put it just right here inside that folder. Now I'm gonna go back into my ADB interface and I'm gonna go ADB reboot EDL. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Q file. This is going to be the Q file method. And we're going to go to tools. We're going to go to partition manager. Click OK. We're going to go down to init boot A. We're going to right click, manage partition data, load image. Go to the folder wherever your patched image is. Grab that patched image. Click OK. Click open. Now that's going to load that patched image onto your device to root it. So click close, click close, click OK, let it reboot. Now what we're going to do on our device, click file transfer, 
go over to Magisk. Magisk is going to ask for an update probably. I think there's an update right here. Allow from the source. Click install. Don't allow. Just wait for it to install and do its thing. Update it. Go to Magisk again. Now it's updated. Or it should be. Just wait for it to do its thing. And let's reboot our device. All right, so that's done. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to install uh, root checker, ADB install, and I've supplied that application for you guys as well. Uh, root checker, which is right here. And we're gonna open it up. Agree, click okay, verify root. And as soon as that dialog window pops up, that means that we have root, but there you go, we have root access. So that's a different way to do it as well, rather than having to go into fast boot mode if your device is being weird. Um, basically getting var current slot is very important though. So I like to show you the ADB method and the fast boot method, just because that's the way that I know how to do it easily rather than using Q file. So there you go.